Hey guys, this is Snack Attack 8, and welcome back to Let's Play. F <laughs> why do I all? Why do I always? I always do. I just always. <laughs> this is part 84. I don't know if you needed to know that. It says it right up there, above me. You can't see where I'm pointing because we don't do that on this channel. But <laughs> what an intro. Uh, so last time we stormed the underwater base at Junon and we grabbed a submarine which is chilling right there right there to our right and I think now they want us to report back to Rufus who is around here somewhere I also noticed that the cannon is no longer on Junon and I'm wondering what the point of that is cuz it was there when we escaped with Tifa but yeah, I don't know where it is now. So, my, I have some suspicions about that. That's what, something I noticed just waiting, like, for the episode to start. I don't know, maybe we'll find out what did indeed happen to said cannon. Uh, but right now, I think they said, like... I, I want to say they said something about, like, Rufus was, like, leaving on at the airport or something. Or, like, they were like, let's get back to the airport. So, I'm, I, I'm guessing that's where we're going to have to look to find him. And to do that, we gotta take this lift up, get the frame rate to drop. I don't know if, I don't, I'm not actually sure how, like, they programmed this. Because <laughs> you can clearly tell there's a difference between when this thing is moving and when it's, like, stopped. It's like that. I guess it is just, like, frame rate slowdown. It kind of looks like you get more, like, FMVized, though, as it does it. It's a really interesting little, uh, little trick there, and I wonder how they did that. Oh, it's cool. Is this the way to the airport? Alright, let's see if this... Okay. Alright, good. Looks like it. I would assume that's Rufus's ship. I thought we were... Weren't we supposed to report to him? Is he just leaving? Where's he going? Come back! <laughs> Come back! I'm supposed to report to you, even though it's probably a good thing that we didn't. I don't know why they would call us here, though, and then just dip. I also like how Rufus is now sporting a much less classy ride than the High Wind was. Uh, the huge materia! Wait, did I miss it? How about us getting there beforehand and stealing it back? Where are they headed? Rocket Town, of course. Cloud, how would you know that? How would you? How are you able to stick an of course on there? Uh, okay. So did they take the huge materia that the submarine sank with? And in that case, is there even a point in me like going back underground or back under the the water to like do that? I don't know. I kind of want to explore more of the underwater like area anyway. So maybe we'll do a little bit of that. I don't know. Hopefully, I can get that huge materi if we get to Rocket Town. I don't know. There was something I wanted to do though. Uh, was actually, between episodes I checked comments and it turns out that the ghost ship thing that I totally just ran right past or defeated in battle was the thing people wanted me to morph. I believe. I'm pretty sure that was the only one. Hopefully there wasn't another enemy that I should have morphed down there. But I know I saw the ghost ship. So we're gonna do that real quick. And I can leave it on here, whatever, it's probably not gonna take that long. There we go, there's our ghost ship. Now let's see if we can actually do this correctly. I'm gonna sense... I might try to use this limit, because I don't think one Klim Hazard is gonna take almost 7,000. He's weak to holy, that's interesting. Probably cure a little bit. Steal, maybe. Did we try to steal from this guy? I can't remember. Okay, that took about half. That's fine. Maybe we'll go for a D-blow. Couldn't steal. Well, he has something to steal, though, too. We can just attack. Saint Elmo's Fire? What a name for a move. Uh, Kate Sith, attack. 
Ooh, that was a critical, though. Maybe Tifa should just attack. Alright, Cloud Morphin, and Morphin, and quick, quick, quick! Oh, we did it! Yes! <laughs> Change into Guidebook? What is that? Is that what we want? Let's see what we want. Alright. Show me what you are. Reveal your secrets, Guidebook. Map of another world. It slumbers with sunken ships. Okay. So, I can't offhand remember what importance that really served. I know someone told me to pick it up, though. I think maybe it's important for a side quest or something. Right now, I'm actually gonna cut to when we're out of here. Save just a little bit of wasting time. <laughs> and I think we're gonna go explore more of the depths before we head over to Rocket Town. So, I will meet you in the depths. <laughs> Alright, we are back, and I think... Ooh. What are you? <laughs> oh, I am a little bit apprehensive <laughs> because uh, in between these ooh, in between these episodes, I was chatting with someone on Skype, and they said there is something to be afraid of in the water. <laughs> I'm thinking that might be it. No. Stay away, and it's chasing me? I don't know if I like that. Um... <laughs> I don't know what this is. I was gonna say... Oh, is he leaving? I don't know. The inquisitive side of me wants to hunt that down. Is it like a ship? Or... I don't know. Because, alright, things on the overworld sometimes can hurt. So if that's like something to fight... Then that could be bad. And it... <laughs> I don't know. It looks kind of like a robot, so I'm afraid it might be a, a weapon. Or like a super hard boss or something. I'm kind of scared of it. <laughs> maybe we'll go away from that for now. Or maybe I'll try to encounter it in a second. Because it couldn't... You never know. It could be not what uh, I thought. Here we got some, like, little coral patches, maybe? Something along those lines, it's kinda nice. Yeah, I don't know, some- <laughs> so A friend I was talking to on Skype, I w they were like, Did you get the submarine yet? And I was like, yeah, I got the submarine. And they were like, Beware of something- Ooh, what's that? Is this more scary? They are like, Beware of something in the water. Oh, is this a place I can go into? Uh, this is- Oh, wait, this is the leader sub? Makes me sick just thinking about it. What makes you sick? I don't know. Huge ma wait, oh, what? Okay. Uh, so the huge materia... What? Was down here? Then what did Rufus take? I thought he had the Junon huge materia that... Why did it say he got away with it if... That's weird. Alright, uh, maybe he has a different materia? I definitely got one. Was that just the game being screwy and jerking around with me? I don't know. I, I definitely wanted to explore this area over here because I realized this really was like the place that I didn't explore. Huh, but now the question is, do, do we encounter you? I was maybe warned to not, but you know what? We're going in from behind. Can I? Oh, it looks like so. <laughs> well? Oh, 20 minutes? What is this? Emerald shoot? Oh, isn't there an emerald weapon? Oh, this is that. This is that. Oh, did it say it? <laughs> we, <laughs> we are not ready for this, folks. Can we run? Tifa, run! No, we're done for. <laughs> Come on, dude! I guess I should have known. My inquisitive spirit got the best of me. Game over. Man, I know I gotta do all that stuff again, too. Okay. I will meet you back. <laughs> With, uh... With this, but 
but not dead. Alright, so <laughs> here we are very much more alive than before and out of the water. <laughs> and I think that's how it's gonna stay. I'm happy like I found the huge materia now because I kind of had a hunch that maybe it, it was kind of still down there. And though I know there was like a way to get over to like this part of the sea, or at least it looked like there was one when I was uh, exploring earlier, I've kind of come to the what probably should be a pretty clear realization that me slowly swimming through the underwater is maybe not the most entertaining thing. So I think what I might do is like between episodes, I'll do some sea exploring and uh, if I find anything interesting I can always do a little like quick cut to that or something. I don't know, I'll figure it out. But I don't know if I don't I don't think we're gonna do that anymore for right now. But eventually I want to. And if there's anything cool like that is under the ocean, uh, I guess in the comments you could leave like just a, a general keep searching kind of comment in case there is something to be found that's neat down there that I missed. But yeah, so I'm guessing, based on the thing, on the fact that that thing was had like an attack called Emerald Shoot, and the fact that I I've heard just little things about like Emerald and Ruby weapon, or like things like that in the game, which I know what weapon is, like the what the weapons are now, so like it makes sense I guess that like I I, I guess that, like they're like super strong like side quest kind of bosses. And I'm pretty sure that was that. I was kind of, like, sh in shock <laughs> while that was happening. <laughs> but it had an attack that said Emerald Shoot, and it, it looked robotic, which is, like, the only thing that's robotic in this game are the weapons. So, pretty safe bet that that's what that is. I went back again and re-looked in the comments, and it said that I want to take that guidebook to someone here in Calm. So I think we're gonna do that. We probably have a little bit more time in this episode. I also kind of decided that I kind of want to do a little bit of editing and doctoring of that footage of me morphing the ghost ship, or like me down there doing the ghost ship morphing. Cause like, that's, I don't know. I, I usually, like the way I like to watch LPs launch a rocket into space with the huge materia, I guess that's why they're going to Rocket Town, huh? When I like to watch LPs, I don't know, in my opinion, as long as the person who's talking is funny or, like, entertaining. Wait, hold on, tell me what you have to know. Oh, no, I don't want to hear this. I know how to do this already. <laughs> like, if the person who's talking is entertaining, it doesn't really matter to me if they don't make that much progress. But I realized, <laughs> just because I think other people are entertaining doesn't mean that I should consider myself that entertaining. So I decided to cut some of that dinkling around out. Who in Calm would want a guidebook? Uh, that is kind of sad. I love this music. It's so good. So simple, but so good. Uh, stash your money. You won't need that, lady, after the meteor comes. You got your priorities all wrong. Do you want a guidebook? Is this gonna be more of me doing nothing? Are we not just not gonna get any progress? Oh, wait, hold on. Did I find him? Was I right on the money? Map that was sunk along with the ship. Guidebook. A rose that blooms once every 1,000 years in the desert. Desert rose. Harp that soothes those who hear it. Earth harp. What if there's anyone who'll bring it to me? Does he want those things? Trade guidebook for this underwater materia. Alright. Is that the name of it, or is it like a materia that was underwater? Earth Harp and Desert Rose, is that what he said? It's underwater materia. Wait, is that really what it's called? Underwater materia, alright. What could that possibly do? Does it cast water? It's a purple one, so it isn't magic, so it wouldn't cast water. What? Wait, hold on. Underwater breathing. <laughs> I'm guessing that's for some other type of quest? 
Because that didn't have anything. It had no AP potential. It had no ability but underwater. That must be for some other bigger side quest. No one told me about that yet. Maybe I'll want it later? Desert Rose and Earth Harp. We don't have any of those things, do we? Maybe those are things I have to find underwater, and that's what I use the underwater materia for? Then it would make sense that he'd be giving me those. I don't know. It's interesting. I did find that, like, big key thing in the last episode when I was exploring down there. So, I don't know. Maybe there is more to the underwater areas than meets the eye. Or that uh, you can see from directly where you s dive at Junon. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yes, so I think we're good to go now. We can head to Rocket Town. Since I did a little bit of cutting up of that, that footage from earlier, uh, I think we might be good on time. I always impress in it in these videos, but <laughs> I'm gonna gamble and say let's head to Rocket Town now and get a little bit of action in, just considering, uh, because I did a little bit of wasting time, too. There's Rocket Town. And I don't, like, I don't see the, uh, I guess the rocket is there, and that's what they're shooting into space or something. Alright, uh, I, I assume we would head for the rocket, where else would we head? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yep, there are Shinra guys up there. What do you guys have to say? A spectacle? Why did you capitalize that? Getting excited. Me too, but because I want to stop these guys. And because I have three huge materia and I want that last one. And I, I still don't know what they do, but I want them. <laughs> you guys are the terrorists, not us. Well, I guess technically we're the terrorists, but... We're terrorists against a broken regime. And I don't know why I still have Kate Sith in the party. It kind of just dawned on me that I had that. <laughs> Whatever. These guys are weak, right? Aren't these like the guys we fought in Junon? They weren't that strong. Uh, I wish Tifa wasn't asleep because she is the super powerful one. Oh, he woke her up. Nice. Why don't you just go ahead and uh, hit with your unmissable death blow there, Tifa. <laughs> That'll uh, be a joy. There we go. <laughs> That's so broken! How is that not, like, considered super broken? I don't know. I love it, though. <laughs> I wish all characters got an item like that. Or at least Yuffie would. Because I like to put death blow on her, too. Though if all characters had an item like that, they could pretty much all use death blow. Everyone attack! Man, I'm sick of tearing through you guys. I'm sick of hashtag tearing it up. There's no house here, what, and we're on stairs. <laughs> Why is there a house in the background? Am I just complaining for the sake of that? I don't know. But we're gonna try to get some Kate, Kate Sith kills in here. With a nice comet. Comet action. Drop it on him, boy. Yes, indeed. Alright, and then if you... Alright, well, Cloud won't fall asleep. I want you to wake up Tifa, though. <laughs> of course, he's not gonna. That's fine. This guy's done. Super easy. And those... <laughs> many things look very impressive still for this game. But those... Uh, sprite art trees in the background are not the most... One of them. <laughs> Nowhere. Okay, I get it. You all want a piece of me. That house just never fails to be a house. <laughs> yeah, look at those trees. They look like Final Fantasy 60. Uh, all right, we can comment on Senior Grunt. <laughs> That's quite the title. Uh, I probably should have stolen from Senior Grunt to be honest. But now he's dead. <laughs> well, oops. What do you guys have to steal? I don't know, all these Shinra guys have like the same things. It's all like attack items and stuff that's much less useful than it really needs. Than like really is the point in getting it. Get that D blow! Man, that is strong. <laughs> Alright. Alright. 
climbing. Or not, Sid. <laughs> What's up? I'm gonna kick those Shinra out of my rocket. Take me with you! Alright, we need Sid in the party now. Okay, um... Then... Alright, Kate Sith has seen his time. <laughs> I'll take... Well, you know what? We'll keep Tifa with us just for the time being. Because I know we're going to want Barret later. And I know... I don't know, we haven't seen Red that much lately. So I'm thinking he, him and Barret will be the next two to come in. So we'll, we'll do... Uh... Menu. Give me the menu. <laughs> Need to quickly slap some materia on Sid. What should I give to him? Well, I can. Oh, should I do this off screen? <laughs> uh, actually, you know what? I think we might like end it here. Yeah, I think we're actually going to end it right here at this little screen. And I'll come back next time with my materia and stuff all sorted out. So again, sorry for another weird episode. Like, I don't even remember what we did. <laughs> We died, we got items, <laughs> got weird materia that seemed kind of useless, and then we fought a bunch of Shinra guys. Good episode. <laughs> yeah, next time will be our exciting assault on the Roquet. Until then, guys, I've been Snack Attack 8, and I will see you in the next video. Later.